always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Okay, right now on Storm Track Live Radar, it's hard to get through the morning hours without using those windshield wipers, some wet roads out there, and you can see the bulk of the heavier showers and thunderstorms moving to the north, northeast, to kind of out of our viewing area. Still a lot of clouds left behind, and that's what generally we'll see throughout the rest of the day. Up to the north, that's where some of the heavier rain is, Reed City, US 10 area, as everything kind of moves or migrates to the north and east. Still some lighter showers, Whitehall, Montague area right down to Dalton, uh, Muskegon location. We'll drop it to the south. Much of the Grand Rapids area in a drying out mode, although a couple sprinkles around Hudsonville, Jenison, and also Granville at the present time. Further south, even drier, yeah, Kalamazoo Battle Creek area over towards South Haven. Most of the rain has shifted uh, right around or east of Lansing at the present time. How much was deposited so far? Uh, many locations coming in around a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, and even less than that. You can see the heavier amounts from, from basically Howland, Grand Rapids, and up to the north where uh, Muskegon is right around a half an inch. You can see Benton Harbor coming in at uh, over an inch down there and the bullseye some of the heaviest kind of interesting is a little spot over Lake Michigan uh, about a little over two inches now area of low pressure cold front responsible for this lift and generating these showers and thunderstorms out there you can see on the back side of the front there's not a whole lot of action there's some uh, light showers uh, up around the north central parts of Wisconsin a few breaks with some sunshine but more often than not I think we're gonna see general uh, cloud cover out there 13 mile an hour winds still out of the south southwest that's why we still have those humid conditions out there but overall we have changes on the way and you can see that actually with this temperature view right now we're at 73 in Grand Rapids underneath the clouds and off to the west Wausau and further west we have temperatures consistently in the 60s even international fall showing up in the 50s so that's a, the cool air heading in our direction now it's a twofold uh, combination where we're going to see not only cooler temperatures but also lower humidity levels still dew points up around 70 degrees that's the sticky category but you can see also behind on that front those dew point temperatures come down quite a bit you can also see it with this uh, graphic with Thursday uh, likely in the 60s and 50s very comfortable uh, dew points Friday and right in through this upcoming weekend so the future cash shows that front moving through uh, during the evening hours still could see a spotty shower out there much of the evening should be dry and overnight again if you look closely sprinkle here a light shower there on Thursday and that will likely continue into Friday also the big change is that wind is going to be out of the north northwest and we're going to maintain a lot of cloud cover. Kind of a gloomy couple days heading our way for Thursday and Friday. Uh, spotty shower there Friday morning. And overall, I think we'll be in a drying mode as we get into the latter half of Friday. I still think the clouds are going to win out, though. Now back to today, that uh, risk area is a one out of five in terms of any severe weather. I don't think we're going to see much at all, especially since the clouds are uh, uh, kind of hanging on. So the stability is a little higher. Uh, looking at, uh, again, spotty showers, most of the time dry on Thursday, also about a 30% light shower on Friday. You can see into the weekend, really the nicest two days in the whole eight day forecast, I'm glad to say, is this weekend with high temperatures in the mid 70s, Saturday and Sunday. Look at those low temperatures, also in the 50s, very comfortable, shut off that air conditioning and tail end of the eight day forecast. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock. That's a uh, fall at the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> look yeah. at those 60s and Hello, 40s fall. for lows. Well, it's about that time, uh, though. That's a sign of it, isn't it? Sure is. Thanks, Matt.